Hello students, welcome to social studies class. This is your teacher, Mr. Clark. Now I'm going to be using this platform to explore several social studies concepts. However, for today, our main focus is understanding the term citizen, right? So who is a citizen? Now this is a topic that is usually done at the grade seven level. And usually when you ask students, who is a citizen? They usually tell you that a citizen is somebody that is born in a country. Now that is basically a way in which persons acquire citizenship. So we don't really want them to use that as a definition, right? Some students also tell you that a citizen is somebody that lives in a country. Now you can live in a country and you are not a citizen. So technically that answer would not be correct, right? So what we normally tell our students, the first thing in terms of understanding the concept of citizenship is that a citizen, the word citizen rather, means belonging right that is the key term that you want them to know and understand once students begin to understand the concept of belonging then they are well on their way to understanding who a citizen is right so i repeat the word citizen means belonging in terms of a definition though you would want to give students something more meaningful and something more concrete right so therefore a citizen is a person who belongs to a country and is entitled to the rights and freedoms of that country. So when you belong to a country and nobody can force you out of that country, they can't forcefully tell you to go to another country, right? Or as the, the word is extradite, they can't put you out of your country, then you are a citizen, right? Now, if you are at a place where you do not belong, then you are considered to be an alien, right? So you are not a citizen of this country, but you are currently residing in that country for whatever reason, then you are an alien. Now, usually when students hear the term alien, they think of an ugly creature that they see in the movies. Now, the concept in the movies is the same as in social studies, right? Because the movie producers present this ugly creature which looks different from the human beings. Right? So clearly you can see that the alien is, does not belong among human beings. And it is the same concept as in social studies. You are in a country that you don't belong. Right? So the word alien, the reason why we are looking at it really is just to establish that the word alien is therefore the opposite of the word citizen. Right? So if you are in a country, you are not a citizen, then you are an alien. Right? So for that time at least. So being an alien doesn't mean you're an ugly creature, please remember. Being an alien just means that you're in a space that you don't belong. Right? So alien means not belonging. Right? So in terms of giving students a definition, alien means not belonging and applies to a person that is in a country where he or she does not belong. Right? So for that time, you are an alien. Right? So if you look at the stars at the bottom, for example, you will realize that um, if somebody should ask you which one of them does not belong in this sequence, clearly you can see that five of them are of dark shade and this one is clear and it is also bigger. So this is the one that does not belong in the sequence and in terms of our lesson that is the one that, that would be the alien in this case, right? Some persons are citizens of two countries. So this is something that I also think students should know that um, you can have, it is possible for you to have citizenship in two countries, right? So you were born in a country, for example, and you move to another country and you acquire citizenship there. Then you can choose to retain your citizenship from your original country. So in that case, then you would be a dual citizen, right? So anybody that is a citizen of two countries, those persons are referred to as dual citizen. So you might be a citizen of Jamaica and you move to America and you acquire citizenship there, then you will become a dual citizen, right? At this point, you would like to point out to students that the word dual, of course, means two, right? So that means you have two citizenship. Good. Now, if you are a citizen of Jamaica, you are referred to as a Jamaican. And this is very important, especially for students who are filling out forms. Sometimes you see the term nationality and you put Jamaica. That is not the correct term. You should put Jamaican, right? 
Likewise, if you are a citizen of the USA, you are considered to be an American, right? So that is basically it, students. We're just going to summarize what we went through today. Um, we looked at a definition for citizen and we said a citizen is a person that belongs to a country or a place and is therefore entitled to the rights and freedoms of that place. We also looked at the term alien, which means not belonging to the country or place in which you are currently residing in, right? We also looked at dual citizen, um, which, is, which, which is a situation that describes any person that has citizenship in two countries. Basically, that's it for today. Hope you would have learned something from the class and we will see you in the next class.